Hey what's up everybody this is Geeky Abhishek and today I'm just gonna bring you the review for the essential phone right now Amazon and Best Buy uh, is selling the essential phone at a discount so you can buy it brand new just for $3.99 at Best Buy as well as Amazon and Amazon also has an offer from uh, the used phones uh, from the Amazon warehouse deals and they have a 20% off on that so you can literally get this phone for $275 so when this phone launched you know that it was pretty expensive uh, and uh, it didn't do well because of uh, you know the camera lags and other software problems which are minor annoyances and then the network problems with T-Mobile uh, but definitely uh, at the launch price of $599 this may not be um, something um, you could buy but uh, if if it's I just wanted to make this video to make sure like if this is a good buy at two hundred and seventy one dollars with taxes close to about three hundred bucks or even four hundred for a brand new from Amazon or Best Buy so this is what I got in the package so this was sealed um, and says uh, inspected uh, the phone that I got was uh, was condition like good, you very good condition and there was uh, no description except for the packaging might be damaged and this is what I received and I'm very happy so far uh, with everything that I've received like as you can see everything's in the box uh, the charger um, as well as the uh, USB cable uh, the phone was actually inside the box it's in perfect condition uh, as you can see I just uh, booted it up and uh, using it uh, it looks amazing I mean uh, this is I am having a Note 8 right now, so that's what the Ghost GoPro scan screen is showing up on. Um, I'm coming from a Note 8 and looking at this phone, and I can tell you the the screen looks amazing on this. The overall look and feel of this device, the nice heft, uh, the materials that has uh, been used, and the screen. Oh my goodness, this phone looks really, really uh, like premium luxurious I didn't check what else was in the box so I'll just keep it aside uh, so right off the box uh, when I booted it up uh, it was completely dead I couldn't uh, turn it on so I plugged it into the charger and left it for a while and then started charging and um, it got uh, then it finally booted up then signed into my Google account and saw there was running 7.1.1 out of the box uh, but immediately got an update uh, system update for the 8.1.1 so right now I just updated it with 8.1.1 I haven't installed um, much on this phone yet all the apps and stuff but so far I've just you know just wanted to make this quick review so if you're still on the fence of whether you wanna get this or not just wanted to give you guys yeah absolutely for 300 bucks I would I would definitely give it a try so in terms of camera so this is the camera response it's not super fast uh, but definitely not as bad as it was on the 7.1 and then you can turn off few things to make it even more faster so right now as you can see uh, the camera froze so yes definitely if there's a issue with the camera app here I mean if you take keep taking shots it will sometimes freeze and whatnot um, but the quality of the pictures I haven't really looked at it yet but I'll do a follow-up review on this and I'll go into an in-depth uh, view of how the, the um, you know the camera quality is but so far it's running smooth uh, came in good condition so if you're about if you're on the fence whether you should jump on this Amazon warehouse deal um, I would say yeah definitely go get this and if you see there's uh, too much troubles then you can always return it and one more thing I just wanted to see uh, show you guys about the so right now this is running Republic Wireless uh, SIM card on it and so that's basically the same thing as um, T-Mobile so I wanna make sure what's the so it's the signal strength of 105 uh, by 35 and I wanna compare it to the Note 8 and see um, what's the difference so basically as you can see um, the Note 8 uh, has actually a much better signal strength compared to the 
one on the essential phone so I don't know if that's gonna be issue so all the things that were reported in the reviews um, the camera lag and the weak signal strength I would say it's still true even with these major updates so we have to, I'll probably have to test this out in depth and then pop, probably post a review a follow-up review and show you guys if it's worth it or not so thank you everyone for watching um, if you like this video just hit like if you want to subscribe to my videos hit the subscribe button um, until I bring the next review thank you everyone thanks for watching bye bye